Everyone loves pizza, but only in the Ohio Valley can you find this unique type of pizza. Dubbed the Ohio Valley style, the way this pizza is prepared is far from the norm. Unmelted cheese and cold toppings make it a bit... odd. No, but nowhere else can you find square pizza like this. But people from the Ohio Valley are in love with this kind of pizza. So today, we're going to be taking a look at it, starting with the restaurant that began it all. Beginning as a bakery, the DeCarlos brand has been a staple of the Ohio Valley since 1945. Once run by the whole family, Primo De Carlo brought the recipe straight over from Italy in World War II and set up their first pizzeria in downtown Steubenville. De Carlos was one of the first licensed pizza shops in the state to have 10 cent pizza. The original name for the pies was the Poor Man's Cheesecake because of its high quality and cheap price. I'm joined by the current owner of De Carlo's, Primo De Carlo, the original owner's grandson, to tell us a little bit more about the pizzas. Primo's my grandfather. You know, it's a, we have been around for so long, we've We've given out a lot of jobs and a lot of opportunities. This this pizza has branched out into different stores and the different and the, uh, under different names and so forth. So really, it's pizza has taken off big in this community. There's a bunch, and it's given a lot of people opportunities for jobs and put a lot of people through school. I'm one of them. I was put through school on pizza, and it's a crazy thing to, to think about how much this bread can do. Yeah, <laughs> but probably 35 years, probably. I like the cold cheese. This style of pizza, my grandfather was in Italy in World War II, he was stationed there. And this was, I think a lot of other people, there's a couple shops that were around in Detroit that it's the same, it's, it was a square pizza. And really what it was, it wasn't had nothing to do with cheese, it was more sauce and bread. It was like how, it was like street food that he would see. And when he would, and they would just sprinkle a little bit of cheese on it. It was never, it was after it would come out of the oven. So when he, you're eating it on the street in Italy hot, so he thought, hey, I could try it, and then the main thing about him, the, my grandfather, he was in business before he left. He was older when he went to the war, so he was, he came back, he was, he sold beer, he had gas stations, he was always, he was a businessman. And his family is, they come from a long line of bakers. They knew bread, and he knew, he knew what to do, and it was just at the right time, and it just, everything clicked for him, and to be able to do it. And really, so when you put your cold cheese on the cold toppings, his logic was it would cut down on the grease, and also it's going to melt by the time you get it home if, you, if I put a lid on it. So it would just it just would all map out right for him, and it took off. It really did. I think a few things. First of all, it's nostalgia. It you don't find it anywhere else. People are amazed by it. They've never heard of it. So you always like where you come from and your traditions to be unique and it's definitely unique so i think that's the main thing and everyone i know if i go to visit them they want it we always have to bring it to them uh, every day it's made fresh i make dough sauce every day and it's we're up probably around 6 a.m getting we're we do a shift from 11 to 9 just so we need about five hours to get everything ready we get open at 11. um we just we probably, it's really the way I, we make pizza is actually my workers. My workers are very into, it's hard to find people to do it. It's hard to train people. This is a very hands-on thing. So I can't just pick anyone off the street and just throw them in and we have the same pizza. It's, everything's gonna be a little bit different. But so it's, it's a combination of the good ingredients and good workers. That's pretty much how we do it. While DeCarlos may have originated the style, it has become a, such a staple of the community that many other local shops have attempted it themselves with much success. One of these local places is the beloved Gianna Moore's Pizza. At Gianna Moore's, I had the privilege to speak with the manager, Jen Blackburn. Um, the founder, John Gianna Moore, started working at Ray's um, when he was 15, 16, and he worked there for probably five years and then he opened this up in 1983. Um, that's what the owner started making at Ray's, so he just inherited that from where he already worked and brought it, opened up his own place. Chain, uh, I would say locally, I like, I would, if I had to choose, I'd say Gianna Moore's in Wintersville. I also like Wintersville De Carlos. Well, a lot of people come back 
into town when, to visit their hol their families around the holidays, their first stop is Jan Wars. So it kind of brings families together. Plus, he donates to local sports teams, athletic teams. So. Well, I like it because I'm from here, but I moved away like 20 years ago. So whenever I come back to visit, this is one thing that I have to have. I think it goes back to, for me, with high school, uh, you know, I, I think it comes down to uh, where each high school kind of hung out at, um, you know, during the time period of the 80s when I was in high school, you know, Menini's was the uh, pizza shop uh, in Stumva where Stumva High School went to, uh, to kind of hang out. Uh, if you went to Catholic Central like I did, you kind of hung out at the uh, West End to Carlos Pizza, then if you went to Wintersville, uh, you hung out at Giannamore. So, Basically, you know, the pizza kind of um, brings back memories of where you kind of hung out with your friends. Uh, all the kind of pizza kind of tasted about the same. Uh, I would imagine if you ate at a pizza place, you thought it was the best pizza. So, you know, for us, it was the Carlos. For Stoneville uh, res or high school students, it was Menini's. And then for uh, Wintersville uh, high school students, it was G Animals. Um, we stretch up a whole pan of dough, we let it raise, and then they put sauce on it, let it cook for about 10 minutes, then they pull, pull it out, sprinkle a little more cheese on, and then they bring it out for the final toppings of whatever the customer orders. Even with all the strong love toward the pizza locally, Online reviews indicate that, that love stays here. They're just not used to it. They're not, they don't get the concept of cold cheese, cold toppings. They're not used to it. It's foreign to them. So I think that's why they don't like it. It's just an odd thing. It, it's, it's hard to explain to people, especially when I get people from out of town, different fest, like if we have the Dean Martin Festival, people come from out of town. It's always a, a, some type of a struggle to get people to understand what we do. But I think that really, it's, it just takes growing up on it, I, I think, more so than ever. So if you try to bring someone else in from the outside, it's not gonna be right. It's gonna look odd a little bit, but to, again, if they try it, hopefully they enjoy it and stuff. But um, yeah, it's just, it, it's just an acquired taste more so than anything. But I think from just growing up on it, it stays around for that, for like for kids and stuff like that. But, it's, it's just, uh, I don't know how to say it. It'd be a good way to put it. It's just, yeah, you just grow up on it. It's kind of like, it's like home in a weird way, but. But with so many local chains, surely one of them can be considered the best, right? To answer this debate, we went to each of the four most popular local branches. De Carlos, Bruno's, Giannamore's, and Ray's. And we are gonna try them all, starting with De Carlos. Yummy. Well, I think we, it's a family business, hands down. We are a family, I run this business with my wife, my mother, my father are heavily involved. It's, it's how it, it has to be. There's no way, I don't think, it's, there's too much to do in a day for me, so I have a lot of help. I, I, I'll be the first to say, I'm, uh, tons of help. And it's 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 almost it's almost too much to do in a day to get everything running the right way and to make sure it stays the right way. It's very hard, but we're very lucky that this is a family business and we do it all together. Ray's Pizza. Mm. That's good too. Bruno's Pizza. Ooh. Ooh. That is good. Giannamorphs. Mmm. Lots of cheese. Very good. Very good. So, after trying every chain of the Ohio Valley pizza, I've come to a conclusion. The best chain is 
whichever one means the most to you. If you look at all the things people have said and the research that's been shown, the thing people like the most about this pizza isn't the sauce, isn't the cheese, isn't the toppings, it's the stories behind it, growing up around here and, and it being so weird and so close to their hearts. It's, it's not about the pizza, it's about the meaning behind it. So really, the best Ohio Valley style pizza is whichever one means most to you.